So I've been really into photography ever since I played around with my grandma's Instamatic way back in the day. I ended up learning a little bit more by using my uncle's manual 35mm and I loved that I walked around with that camera everywhere. It was like a pet. It was attached to me at the hip. Later in university I did some extra courses with that and I ended up buying myself an old Canon FR workhorse and I had a great time. Later on, the digital thing came up, and I had to deal with that. And it was hard for me to accept that my phone now had a far superior image capturing capability than did my digital camera in the first place. But once I got over that and realized the freedom of that and it's less to carry around, I became overwhelmed. However, the downside to this, and it's not the video because we're using it now, was that all of my tripods they have this standard tripod mount, but there's nothing I can find for the phone that does. And with all the commercial tripods that are out there, none of them seem to fit my phone if it's in a case. I'm the kind of person who really needs a case for their phone, well, let me tell you. Now I love taking things apart. So after I had taken this beast apart, this is what it looks like without its cover on, I had to take some there were different sized screws and the smaller ones that I needed seemed to be more inside. But as I took it apart more and more, I discovered there's all these cool lenses and these cool little bits. So immediately I started thinking, oh, wow, you know, like, especially all these cogs and gear bits that just got my wheels turning as it were. But then I started taking more bits off and looking, see, oh, you know, these neat little lens bits and this slides up and down, you know, I'm going to make something out of that, but then I start to see the more I take it apart that this might be able to solve another problem. That's almost the width of my phone there. So I started doing more and then I strategically took my jeweler saw and I cut some pieces off and then here we are. I'm left with this and lo and behold, here's my phone and its fancy case that keeps it from being destroyed. I slide this in here and then I close the back which used to be where you put the film which snaps the whole thing in tight and now underneath I have a standard tripod mount that fits all of my other tripods. Now inside here there's still this little battery compartment that I can use to stash something, maybe earphones. I haven't decided yet but this is how you can take an old film loaded 35 automatic camera that probably isn't getting a lot of use right now and you can turn it into a stand that fits any phone of any model holds it in tight and you can leave the case on this has been ian keith murray this is my gadget